Chloe. I want you to look at something. Oh, yes. Those are some really cool looking bowling pins. They look a little off center to me, though. Look closer. Those aren't bowling pins. They're emperor penguins. It's a type of bird. Not like any bird I've ever seen. Besides, birds don't just stand still like that. Never long enough for you actually to get a good look at them anyways. Something tells me you want to do more than just look. Anyway, these aren't ordinary birds. Penguins are really strange. They don't fly. And they don't have to worry about humans and cats where they live. So they'd let you come right up to them. Well, now we're talking. Except that they live in the Antarctica. And that's the coldest continent on Earth. The land is always snow and ice there. You remember what happened to you when you went out in the snow that time, right, Chloe? It wasn't so bad. It was pretty anyways, and interesting to taste. But, oh, it froze my paws. I think I prefer to sit in a nice, warm fireplace. <laughs> Me too. But these penguins couldn't be happier on the ice, or in the icy water, where they are excellent swimmers. The temperature goes down as low as minus 40 in that part of Antarctica. But it doesn't seem to bother them very much at all. Well, I don't think I'll go there to catch a penguin, but I have to admit my tail is twitching at the thought of such easy prey. Well, on land they might be easy prey, but in the water, it's a different story. They swim at like six miles per hour, which is pretty fast for swimmers. It's almost as fast as I can run. Well, I can run a lot faster than you if I feel like it. <sighs> but I feel more like taking a nap right now. Uh, I can do I can do that better than you can too. Well, we'll have a napping contest later. I wanted to tell you that emperor penguins have to watch out for leopard seals, orcas, trying to eat them while they hunt after fish deep in the water. They can dive deeper than 1,000 feet below the surface of the water. That is amazing, but they can have the water. Anything more than dipping my paws is just too much for me. Even with all those fish? Well, if you bring me the fish, I'll eat them, but I'm not going in the water after them, and I'm certainly not going to Antarctica. Oh, Chloe. Well, I know you, so I'm not surprised you don't want to take such a long, cold trip. But the emperor penguins make a really long trip every year. They all travel together about 60 miles walking and sliding to the inland of Ar Antarctica. When they get to the inland, the mother penguin lays an egg and then passes it over to the father penguin. They carry the egg on their feet because the egg won't survive if it's alone. So the father then stays and sits on the egg and keeps it warm while the mother emperor penguin goes back to the sea to eat fish for a while. Eating fish? Well, I like that part. Right. And then when she's had enough to eat, she walks all the way back to take over the egg tending business. By this time, her egg is hatched, but the chick still needs to be kept warm, so the chick sits on its mother's feet. That's the same reason I sleep on your feet at night. Well, the mom and dad repeat this journey several times, switching back and forth who gets to keep Junior on their feet. Wait, so if mom and dad have to go get fish while Junior stays, what does Junior eat? Well, the mother and father penguin regurgitate, or, um, throw up some of the food they caught in the sea. The emperor penguin chick eats that. Oh, well, I'm a cat. I sure know all about throwing up. That's true. It's a fact of life for all of us. But anyway, the chicks grow a nice coat of downy feathers and then a slick adult coat. The adults finally leave the chicks while they go off to sea to eat. But the chicks aren't really alone because they all huddle together. The adults come back to check up on them, but eventually it's time for the chicks to go out and catch their own fish. Oh, well, that's a great story, but I don't think I'm going to Antarctica anytime soon, so I guess I'll just stay here and sleep and forget all about the emperor penguins. Not so fast, Chloe. Remember all those fish the penguins keep on eating time after time? You're right. I couldn't forget about that part. Say, do you happen to have any fish treats in the cupboard? In a minute. I want you to remember, though, 
that some of the fish that you and I eat may also come from the Southern Ocean from Antarctica. The Pantagonian toothfish and other fish which we sometimes eat come from that part of the world. So we have to share our meals with the penguins? I suppose we don't have to share, but then there wouldn't be any penguins. There's plenty of food for us and the penguins as long as we don't eat too much of it. Well, I guess the penguins are worth keeping around. They are pretty impressive. Now that's the spirit. Now what'll it be? Fish treats or napping contest? Fish treats. No wait, napping contest. Oh no, I'm just excited. I don't think I can do either. I'm just going to run around a bit. Oh, Chloe. Girl, you crazy.